Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Wuxia World. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You get my videos as they come out. And what more do you want out of your day? Now, this video has finally arrived after a while of preparation. Um, it's going to be long, first of all. And I'm going to say, before I start going into the sex and what everyone does... This will only be valid up till the first sect of Psy Bay because I can't unlock the others and the ones that are greyed out are secret families that I haven't found and interacted with yet so they won't be included either as well as the ones that are high justice or high evil. It will be most of them. And also before I start I made that new spear and my god it is good. That is a good spear. Solid six star. Like, I mean... <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. My eyesight needs work, but you'll see by the end of this video that it is quite easy to plan when you have the knowledge of every single sect. And again, I'm going to put timestamps in for the separation of each area. For example, Guangzhou, Zhongyuan, they'll all be timestamped in separate areas. If need be, I will put a summary of all the information in the description, but that's going to be just as long of a read, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> like, like, yeah. So the easiest way I thought to do this, even though I have everything written down, is to go into each one and talk about it. Basically, as fast as I can. Well, not too fast, you know, so people can keep up. But anyway, started with Guangzhou. North Horse. Now, everyone needs to go to North Horse. This is just the way it is. Because you learn Soma here, that's how you start getting horses, it's necessary. This is really the only thing you really need to pick up, with the exception of, you know, maybe gecko riding if you've just started, but the rest, you only have a certain amount of martial arts to begin with, and you're going to need to choose a weapon, and then stick with it, and then build all the martial arts around that. So, North Horse really, only Soma that's important there. Da Jiang Hui. Now, this is a leg sect, if I recall correctly. So we got two star increased characters defense, but it's the Northern School bullet kick, tan legs. This is a, a legs only attack, basically. So if you get a special skill that actually specifies how it attacks, you won't be able to use it if you use a different weapon. So it's a brilliant starter one for people using legs, but apparently according to a few people who have commented getting good legs weapons is actually quite hard until you can start crafting them so but again you will breeze past these sex really fast like really really fast so there's no need to spend too much time in them get the good ones and then just leave and then you can forget the lower level ones as you go up moving on to my favorite sect so to speak tnc now this is a spear sect you will be learning spear casting here that is always good. I mean, for me anyway, but I mean, if you want to cast spears, you're going to have to come here. But there are other skills that can actually help you craft them, but they are in special sex, which we will eventually get to. If you're going to learn spears, you need to get iron spear. It increases the attack power of your spear. When you get to level 10, it's like 300 and something attack when you wield a spear. That's amazing. Like, I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing I can say that can make that any better, I suppose. Embrace Mountain is also good. Increase attack on your attack, but there's only a percentage chance of it happening. An Embrace Mountain can be used with a spear, and I'm actually not sure if you can use it with any other type of weapon, because I haven't tested that. Now, Guan Xi Sword is basically, as the name suggests, swords. This is where you're going to be learning some sword skills, I suppose, as well as a small dodge increase. But again, they're all pretty cheap. You can get all of these, all of these within a day. But if you are new, you're going to use a sword, get heart sword, cloud sword, easy. And again, I say, when you first start, pick a weapon and stick with it. When you first start, it's okay to use a couple of different weapons. But by the time, you know, you reach level 30, 40, you're going to want to actually pick something and stick with it. Because it's literally the only way to increase your attack. Now, moving on to Zhong Yuan. Now, Shaolin is a ridiculously powerful sect. Absolutely ridiculously powerful sect. It is a stick sect. Now, I actually probably recommend getting like this is this is a mostly stats sect as well. 
because we got dodge, defense, attack power of stick, as well as bright fist. Now, I am quite sure that that is, only, that is a fist only attack, and it is incredibly powerful. I've seen characters using it, and it dominates. It absolutely dominates. But using your fists is apparently a hard way to go. But if you are going to use fists, this is a definite stop for you. If only just for the defense and dodge increase. I will probably come back here just to get that five star defense increase. But I'm focusing on getting spear arts at the moment. Now, on to the next Wu Tai. Now, this one is really a cultivation sect. As you can see, we got increased speed of perception and inner force, but it's also got a six star defense art. And if you are going to come here, honestly, all of them early game would be beautiful because a six star skill is going to take a long time to level up, but it's usable for anyone using any weapon. And that's really the key there. On to Bardao, which is the blade sect. Now you learn some blade skills here. Increase attack power with the blade. Now, Disorderly Cape and Five Tiger Broken, the whole chance to use them, since it doesn't specifically specify a weapon type, I think that it will work with any kind of weapon, but I cannot confirm that. So hopefully someone out there who has got these skills can say whether or not they can be activated with different weapons. But no matter what, you, you need to come here for this Ground Saber skill if you're going to learn swords, or blades, I should say, because it's a huge source of blade attack early game and that's just that's what you want really because the stronger you get faster the better sex you can get into sooner that's just the way it works but moving on now moon goddess is a wild one because it requires negative 10,000 uh, evil but I'm assuming that, that it is a ridiculously powerful sect with amazing skills inside but negative 10,000 evil is not so easy to get. <laughs> that's that's really all I can say there. Hopefully someone who's been in there can leave a comment to let us know what's in there. Because that that's, a, that's an evil ass sect. Evil ass. Anyway, moving on to Jing Chu. Into Wudang, which is also an incredibly strong <laughs> sect. This is more of a raw stat sect. And you're definitely going to want to stop here. We got increased health, defense, dodge as well as the Divine 13 Swords, which I suspect is a sword-only skill. If you have it and you don't have a sword, I'm pretty sure it won't activate, but again, someone else can let us know about that. Regardless, this is absolutely a sex you have to visit in order to get these skills. 100% worth it for raw stats, and raw stats are universal, ladies and gentlemen. Universal. On to Sword Rain. Now, this is another stat sect, basically. We got Dodge. We have literal just stats, <laughs> and then another major dodge one. Now, obviously, if you're down to, and you've been into all the further sex, coming back is not that bad of an idea to pick up the easy five-star ones. That five-star character dodge one is definitely one I'm going to come back and pick up, as well as Floating Cloud, because again, raw stats, that's just the way you gain strength overall. Once you pick a weapon, you get about 10 arts for it, and then you just buff that by getting raw stat increases and that's I think is what's going to be key to creating a strong character of course we've also got a smoke rain sword here but again sword skill on to the next now tie by actually requires 100 justice but what's inside it is basically eyesight and cultivation increases so definitely a sect you want to visit because eyesight's really hard to level up and any eyesight stat at least one or two of them in order to increase your accuracy kind of thing it's definitely worth it i can't actually go either way at the moment because i went up and then i tried to go back down so i could uh, get negative 100 into evil tian shu now this is really a strength sect power of god five star strength increase that is really really nice <laughs> and nothing this can be worth getting as well if you've only just reached this sort of um level of sect Purely because increasing character stats is always nice, no matter which way you put it. Fence of Thowder, I'm assuming, is a sword-only skill. But again, it doesn't specify the weapon itself, so you might be able to use that with everything. It's too hard to tell. But Power of God, absolutely 10 out of 10. Moving on to Jiang Nang. Now, Shen Nong. This is a pill place, basically. There's a pharmacy here in order to make pills with, and of course you've got... 
your Shenlong potions, which is a skill to craft potions. I have a different version of this, but if you if you if you want to make pills in any short term period of time, this is definitely a sect to visit. But I do warn you that pills are a bitch to make. That's all I'm saying. Like that's all I'm saying. It's also raw stats. We got our character's health as well as muscles and bones, which is defense basically. But it's definitely a sect to visit as soon as you can open it. Sadly, a lot of these sects are going to require you to be in them for multiple days in order to generate the amount of sect merit required, especially the higher the star rating, basically the longer you're going to have to wait to get it. And that's actually a very cheap six star for sect merit. It's usually like 10 to 12,000, but I'm assuming it's cheap because potion making is a bitch. <laughs> like a bitch. But anyway, moving on. Now, Thunderdome is a blade casting sect. Casting blades, casting swords. If you want to make either of them, this is the place to come. Now, the three hardening and refining methods is what I learned instead. And it seems to have been very much worth it. For the price, a thousand sect merit, I made my spear through the three hardening and refining methods, and I made a six-star purple spear from it, and it's amazing. It was such an upgrade from my previous one, and my previous one was made through that method as well. So I highly recommend getting that. But if you want to specifically learn casting blades and swords, maybe it might be worth getting casting blades and casting sword. But I've had casting spears, but I made my spears through the three hardening and refining method anyway. And it seems to have been worth it because they get a special effect after you create them. But it is quite expensive since you need a special material that costs over 10,000 gold in the store. But damn if that wasn't worth it. But anyway, also a three-star strength thing. That's a bit meh. I will probably forget that in the exchange for something else. Before I actually sat down and did this and went through every sect and sort of created a path for myself, I was just haphazardly joining sects, as I'm sure most people do. So actually having a path is, is definitely preferable. Definitely preferable. Now, Chow Bang is another evil sect. I wonder if I can actually get a bit of evil. Yep, okay, good. Because this requires negative 100 evil. This sect is all about armor, basically. This is where you're going to come to learn weaving robes and feather armor. They can be worth learning just for the sake of having them, just in case you get an amazing um, recipe that requires, basically, you to make it being a robe or a feathered armor piece. Can be worth it. I don't have them myself because I have a special nourishment method that allows me to create uh, mutant clothes as well with a special effect, and that seems to do the same thing but someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Bronze body, probably not worth getting, I'm not going to lie to you, two star, eh, you're really only going to want to come here for the weavings, because there's no other sect that has this, that I have explored yet, with the exception of that special nourishment method. Now, Mount Long Hu is another pharmacy sect. This is actually where I got my um, pill creation from, and it's a brilliant sect purely because it's a five-star strength. They got increased speed of perception here, as well as, of course, being able to create pills and they have a chance of creating an extra pill when you create one pill. That's what Long Fu, po Long Fu Potions does, and it's very nice, even though I've yet to make pills because getting the items required for them is bloody hard. But definitely a sec to visit in order to get that strength and perception. Now, moving down into Min Nan, South Shaolin. This is a fist and palm. If the name didn't give it away, you know. <laughs> now, increasing fist and palm attack after enlightenment, you are going to need that if you're going to use fists and palm because it's base attack. Okay, it's base attack. You need it. Come here and get it. <laughs> like, straight up, come here and get it. Wing Chun is another fist, as far as I'm aware, another fist skill that you can't use unless you're using fists. That is, that is a key. And, of course, four-star character stat increase can be good to have. It depends on the kind of character you want to build again. Moving on. Tian Dao and Kang Jian both require, well, Tian Dao requires evil 5,000 and Kang Jian requires justice 4,000. And I'm assuming that both are quite good. But again, hopefully someone who's been in them can comment and tell us what is in them. So moving straight down into Nanhai, we have another 4,000 justice one for Nanhai. And then a 3,000 evil one for Ju Kun. But Hai Yan 
This is a very universal sect. I'm not sure why it's only three stars, I'll be honest with you. Because you've got a chop, well, a palm attack, fist and palm attack, we've got a stick attack, and then a four star spear attack that causes bleeding. And that is, that is where I am getting, I am getting that one. As soon as I finish this video, I'm joining this sect and I'm waiting until I get that damn, damn spear. Chi Gia's spear, I want it and I want it now. But of course, I'm a spear user, so <laughs> of course I want that. On to Tai Shua. Now this is a leg sect. And fist and palm, really. So improve leg and foot attack after enlightenment. You use legs that you need to come here, you need to get this five star. That will be so much extra attack, as well as another attack power of fists and palms after enlightenment. And now that I've actually been through all these sects, I, I'm seeing a lot of fist and palm attack increases more than anything else at least which is interesting moving on i can't spend too long on one i apologize i hope this is making sense and i hope this is helping but i suppose i'll find out in the comments <laughs> ching cheng is a crafting sect now this is a good one this is where i learned my special effect weapons method of continual nourishment I haven't made a weapon through that yet, but I got it anyway, just because um, the last one I got was so good. So, so I was like, yeah. As well as, this is a special effects robes, which, as far as I'm aware, is the same thing as weaving robes and weaving feathered armor. If you make it through this, you get an extra effect on it. Whether or not weaving robes and weaving feathered armor actually gives you better stats by creating through them, I can't really see, but let me know if I am wrong. And of course we have sword attack and again increase attack power of fists and palms after enlightenment. You use a sword, you want that five star. You use fists and palms, you want that astral claw. It's just crazy how many extra attack powers of fists and palms there are in all the sects around. It's, it's quite scary actually. Like I'm, I'm hoping there's more spear stuff the further down I go. <laughs> like... Okay, Omei is a pure stat sect. It deserves every single star that it has there. So, so increase inner force, increase character defense, increase attack power of fists and palms again. Again. Honestly, it's ridiculous how many there are. Now, the sword dance back is one that I got just to see whether or not I could use it with a spear. And thus far, I haven't been able to trigger the effect because the effect is so low or, or I can't use it because it's a sword one. So I can't tell because it's a 3% chance to use it and I have yet to trigger it or proc it. So that's why my thoughts are if it specifically says a weapon, you can't use it if you use a different weapon, basically. That was an expensive lesson, 12,000 sec merit, but here we are. <laughs> like, here we are. I'm feeling very happy for all the fists and palm users out there because you're going to get a lot of attack. A lot of attack. It's ridiculous how much attack. And maybe that's because it's to make up for the fact that you don't have the raw attack of a weapon because you're only using your hands. That's my suspicion anyway. Now, Tang requires three and a half thousand evil. But, I mean, just from the amount of stars that it has, I assume it's got some insane skills in there. Eight star sect. That's crazy. I'm really hoping someone's been in there so that they can comment and tell me what's in there because I'd love to know. <laughs> I'd love to know. Now, moving into Dali, Wu Du requires evil 3500 again. Now, Wu Xiang is pure stat sect, basically, and it's actually somewhere that you need to visit simply for the eyesight. Improve character's eyesight after enlightenment, six star. And then, of course, we've got increased character's attack power. Now, that's raw attack power. So this sect is literally a pure stat sect, and it's absolutely required to visit, I would say, in order to get these two. And they're not even expensive. You could probably get them within a day, really, realistically. Now, we are almost coming to the end here of the ones that I can enter anyway. Tian Kang. Now, this one is fists and legs, basically. So we got, again, upgrade the attack power of your fists and palms after enlightenment. And then we have a six star hand attack, which is interesting. Because I imagine that's powerful as hell too. But again, it's really just to make up for the fact that they don't have the raw attack power of actually having a weapon. Which makes sense, really. Now you've got the 5 star increased character stats. I'm definitely going to be getting that. 
And of course, this is the best sect I found for a special leg attack, which is Sweeping Legs. It's a seven star attack, incredibly expensive, incredibly strong. But again, if you, if you use fists, you, you use legs, you definitely want to come here regardless. For me personally, I will be getting that Roaming Dragon Body Arts. <laughs> That's really it, to be honest with you. Nice and cheap, nice and quick. All right, on to the very last sect. Now, this sect is, I'm very happily and excited to say, has spears in it. So, <laughs> Storm Spear, another bleed damage attack from Spear, as well as Sticks. So, this is a five-star Stick attack, which is always nice. Sticks and Spears are really neglected in this game. Makes me sad, but, <laughs> you know, it could be worse, I suppose. And then, of course, we've got characters, muscles, and bones. Five star, absolutely brilliant. Extra defense, always nice. Universal, highly recommended. With all that being said, I'm actually going to Wu Xiang. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that eyesight one. I need that eyesight one. Let me tell you. I'm only at thirteen out of twenty-four martial arts, so now I can actually pick and choose the ones that I want the most in order to boost my stats the best. And so, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that has opened eyes a little bit to the way that you want to travel around the sex rather than just staying in one for the sake of the treasure house or something like that. It's totally understandable. I'm guilty of doing that too, spending too long in a sect. But the game is designed to jump around sex. You're supposed to leave and join, leave and join. But yes, hopefully this video helps. I again will put timestamps in to separate the areas, the major areas. And maybe that'll make this more digestible, because I know there was a lot of talking that just occurred there, ladies and gentlemen. There was a lot of talking. But I'll leave this here so I don't ramble on too much, goodness me. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know about those sects that I couldn't get into, because I'd love to know what's in them. But, as always, have a great day.